Hi, it's Sean Account from Stan James, welcome you to a preview of the four test series between England and South Africa. It begins at Centurion Park tomorrow. First of all, weather watch on the first test. Uh, they say there's going to be intermittent and probably heavy showers. That's the norm at this time of the year at Centurion. It's a very good draining ground, and so we should be able to get um, a, a f most of the day's play will be full, I would suggest. Uh, this is generally a result wicket, can, uh, considered a result wicket. Interestingly, when, when you get thought, thoughts of uh, talk of rain, invariably the draw is everybody wants to bet, everyone wants the draw. Not on this occasion. Six to four still the draw, five to four for the host South Africa and it's 7-2 to two for England. It'd be interesting the make of the England team. We know the first five is going to be the two left-handers at the top of the order, Trot, um, KP and Collingwood. Will we go with six prior? Will we take another batsman? Will we go with prior and, of course, Luke Wright? Or will we go uh, six, Ian Bell, seven prior and just the four bowls? It'll be fascinating. It'll be fascinating, I think, team selection for England. Overall, the uh, series betting, 13-8 to eight on for the host South Africa, 3-1 to one England, 7-2 to two drawn series. I think England will win. I think uh, an England win will win two one. I think, and we got the ODI series. But so before you keep calling me a lunatic here, I do think this is a decent, a really is a decent England team. It's not a great England team, but I don't think this is a South African, a great South African team. I really don't think it's a great South African bowling team anymore. Take Taylor and Stain thirteen to eight to be top wicket keeper, wicket taker in the series for South Africa. He probably will be as well. Morning, Morgan, Mackay, and Tini. Mackay and Tini's domestic form has been wretched wretched i know he bowls well at left-handers but this is not mccarantini i don't think of four or five years ago he's more of an ambassador now for uh, south african cricket and i think by maybe the third test at least that we'll have the uh, wayne parnell uh, in the side i'm a really big fan of wayne parnell that left arm over at pace he's going to be a great cricketer i think this is a transitional stage for south african cricket and i do think england uh, can win can take it first test Fascinating. Centurion generally regarded as a result wicket. How much rain will we get? I, th I think I do think though that England will uh, will come out on top in the end. Just a couple of. Um uh, bets on the whole series. I think top South African series batsman. I think Jack Callis at nine to two. Callis to me technically is as good as anybody. I mean, he, he has a reputation. Certainly had a reputation. That's probably unfair for me. I remember Brian Lara uh, bailing, uh, balling him out, saying he only played for himself. Now I think Callis is a really good mature cricket. It's supposedly not going to bowl. He was twelve to one or fourteen to one with Stan James to be top series uh, South African wicket taker, but he doesn't look as if he's going to bowl at Centurion. But I think Callis nine to two to be top series bat. Um, I, I think uh, I think that's a very fair price. I think uh, Callis is technically the best player. Dale staying thirteen to eight. We've, you know he is the best South African bowler, but he's going to have to have big shoulders for me. With I'm not a great fan of Morning Morkel or a Carantini. I think Paul Harris is. Well, I, I used the phrase pie throw on more than one occasion about Paul Harris. I think he's just a finger. I think he just rolls. His, he doesn't really open the lock. If you're talking about sort of off spinners and he's a slow left arm, he just rolls his wrist over and of course he'll bowl tight but he shouldn't really be a threat to what is a decent England batting side. Graham Swan 9-2 <clears throat> Again, you get it, South Africa this time of year. You generally regard it as a, 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 a seamless. I just think, you know, Ryan Sidebottom uh, 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 will bowl big in his, and I think he'll bowl well on occasion. Jimmy Anderson, of course. I just think Swan is going to be the backbone of the England attack, though. He'll be the one that maybe they'll want to get after as well. I think he's a county bowler. I think he he's really has improved. And I think 9-2. to two. I think Graham Swan at 9 to 2 is the value there to be top England series wiki taker. And I think that might be the difference. South Africa's uh, spinner, Paul Harris, 7 to 1, whereas Swan is 9 to 2. And I think that that might be the deciding factor. And that's why I think 3 to 1 England, I think that's the value to win the series against South Africa. They may be the number one test playing nation in the world. They were beaten last time they played the Aussies at home. England beat the Aussies, collateral form. I know it's easy, it's not, it doesn't work out like that, but I just think three to one represents good value. We beat them in ODIs, we can beat them in the test series. Be lucky.